The villagers have informed the wildlife officers about an elephant with a flesh lot hanging from its back. The elephant was seen walking with some difficulty, and it was in utmost pain. Soon after they got the news, vets were rushed to the village. Officers found the female elephant who was slumped in a lake. When they observed from a distance, the officers could see that her uterus has come out. They suspected that this is a condition called uterine prolapse. This condition is infrequent, and it is the first time we got to report such an instance. Officers are preparing the anesthetic drug to sedate the elephant. In order to examine further, officers wanted to take her out from the lake. They can't sedate her inside the lake, as she would get drowned. Thus, officers had to shout aloud and applaud to take her out of the water. She finally came to the land, and officers darted the sedative drug using the tranquilizer gun. The sedative drug was given by physically observing the weight. With that, she got panicked and reacted aggressively. Thereafter, she was sedated and officers could carefully examine what has happened. It is clearly visible that a mass was bulging out from the vaginal area and they confirmed that this is a condition called uterine prolapse. Uterine prolapse is defined as coming out of one or more of the uterus from its normal anatomical position through the genital or vaginal opening. Factors during calving cause uterine prolapse and such calving complications that cause injury or irritation of the external birth canal, severe straining during labor, and excessive pressure during the delivery. In here, since the belly area is swollen, the officers first suspected that there is a baby inside, but soon they realized that the baby has delivered already and this is a postpartum condition. This happens sometimes when the baby is larger than the uterine cavity causing straining and excessive pressure during the labor of the calf. The protruded uterus has been badly infected and swollen, suggesting that this has happened before a one week or more. Sadly, the infection has spread so far when she is found. She will die soon unless a proper treatment is given to heal the infection. Pus has accumulated in the infected area, forming an abscess and maggots has infested the tissues. As the first step of treatment, abscess was lanced. This video footage had to be removed as it may look unpleasant to our viewers. The wound was covered with maggots. This incident was in a really critical phase, thus vets were aimed to bring her back to the survival stage. This elephant was given antibiotics, multivitamins, anti-inflammatory, and all the other necessary drugs to cure the lacerations and infections by assuming her body weight. Multivitamins are given to boost energy and immunity since she was weakened due to a lack of food. Antibiotics will boost immunity within the elephant's body to expedite the wound healing process. Antibiotics are usually intramuscularly and they will fight against the secondary microbial infections on wounds. Anti-inflammatory will prevent the inflammations and spreading of the infection to the inner organs. After a while, she began to waggle since she was weakened. Thus, an officer kept his hand on the elephant's body as a support. Treatment resumed while giving external support to keep her body in upright position. There are two ways to treat a uterine prolapse. In its reduction of the uterine or amputation. If the treatment is reduction, it involves three steps. Reduction of the size of the bulging mass, replacement and retention of the prolapsed mass. The organ is gently pushed back into position, taking care not to traumatize the friable endometrium or uterine wall. Following replacement, temporary closure of the vulva with a pursing string can be performed for retaining the prolapsed mass. Amputation of prolapsed uterus is advised only when replacement is impossible or when it is quite certain that replacement of a badly torn, lacerated, infected uterus would result in death. In this case, the uterus has been badly infected and the elephant is severely weakened. Before making a decision to correct the uterine prolapse, the infection should be healed and boost the elephant to replenish the lost energy. A surgical procedure cannot be performed in such a weakened condition.
The uterine area has infested with maggots. They sprayed antiseptic spray to reduce the infestation. In this light, their aim was to just reduce the infection and keep the elephant alive. It is not advisable to keep the elephant recumbent for a long time. The elephant started waggling again and one officer struggled to keep her footing by catching the tail. But it was in vain and the elephant fallen down unconsciously. Then the vets were urged to inject the revival drug to the ear vein. An officer waggled her ear for the fast circulation of the revival drug. After treating the infection, her condition will be monitored continuously and future treatments would be decided considering the progress of recovery from the infection. However, performing surgery in field condition is really challenging. Sometimes it may worsen the condition. Because when doing a surgery, aseptic conditions should be maintained. Post-operative care is very much important as well. But this is an untamed wild elephant. Her condition is totally different from the elephants living in an orphanage home. If a surgery is done keeping the uterus in place, restricting the movement of the elephant and protecting the operated area from being infected would be extremely difficult. The team decided to take advices from experts and medical professionals about the further treatment since this is a rare case for elephants. The elephant started shaking the body, showing signs of regaining the consciousness. Then the officers led the elephant to stand by her own. In no time, she was headed to the lake again. She will be monitored continuously and give the following doses of medicines to heal the infections. They'll plan the future treatments considering the progress of the healing of the infections.